Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles. Here today to show you a really beautiful, clean, simple build. It's a 1955 Chevrolet 3100 two-door step side. It's a single stage paint that's driver quality, but it really is way better than the factory paint ever was. The bed has been stained and redone, new metal strips. It's got the wraparound back window that everybody loves. Wide white wall tires and some really good suspension underneath. In fact, I'm gonna take it to the shop, put it up in the air and let you see the suspension. LED tail lights, nice touches so you can actually see them. Nice little V8 rumble. It's a static ride, so the suspension is coil over on all four corners and it's adjustable, but it gives a really good stance. Under the hood is, to me, is a work of art. This is a 5.3 LS motor, and it's made to look like a carbureted motor, where normally the coil packs are sitting where the valve covers are. They've cleaned it up and put the coil packs up on the firewall, which is a really, really clean look. It's got a serpentine belt. Air conditioner compressor is hidden down low, and all the lines are very clean and there's AN fittings where they attach to the firewall. In fact, I'm gonna turn the engine off. But the motor has plenty of power. I love the instrument cluster. It's a plastic, classic instruments. It's made to look like the factory, fits in the factory hole. It's got a really cool, original looking Steering wheel that's a little bit smaller than the truck normally would have had. Does have tilt. It's got really good cold air, vintage air. Works really good. And they did a nice job on the interior. The uh, the stamp VIN plate is still welded to the A pillar. These door panels are very clean, but they're very well done. They're stitching, and there's perforated leather. Nice handles. Really clean seat. Just a sanitary, clean, nice job. It's a very solid body. All the door jams and everything is, there's just no rust, no rot. The gas tank was moved to the rear under the bed. In fact, the filler, I'll show you, it's right there. It pops up, just push down on it. This truck was driven from Arlington, Texas out to the good guys recently. It's a member of the Arlington area street rods, but I just love how clean it is under the hood. See the plug wire alignment, aluminum deals, can't even talk. You can see the power rack and pinion steering, which really makes this truck drive nice. It's got a uh, fat man suspension, which is a uh, custom A arms with uh, coil over shocks. Aluminum radiator that's adjustable. You can see the air conditioner dryer is mounted forward. But I love how they did an intake. The Holly common rail fuel injection. There's the uh, rail seat. So it's not a throttle body. It's basically got an injector for each cylinder. I love the old school air cleaner. Just a really nice clean build. They painted under the hood kind of a satin black. So at a first glance, you wouldn't know that that's an LS motor until you saw the aluminum heads and of course the coil packs, but it's just a sanitary job. They painted, replaced the nut and bolts with CAD plated bolts. Even the, the details on the, the hood hinges and the springs. It's just really clean. Not a lot of chrome, not a lot of flash, just clean style and it works. The paint is really, for a single stage paint, it's really, really good. I just don't see any, usually you'll see some cracks or some bad places. This one really looks pretty darn good for a 1955 
there's some a few little flaws right there where they just didn't quite sand it good I mean anybody can pick a paint job but this one is pretty spectacular the top rails are in amazing shape those are usually all beat up by now it's got the little stainless steel chain and hook you can see some pitting in the paint right here where they didn't sand it all the way down and that's from dropping these over over the time and it just chips the paint nice steel tailgate you can see some chips under the paint here in the bed where they didn't really finish that out but I mean it's a truck and you can use it and as I said in my description if you have a vehicle and you're you don't want to sit in the front seat and eat a hamburger then you're not enjoying it you're just worrying about it this is a very nice truck but you can get out there and drive it and you can get out there and enjoy it the hood is really slick look at the interior on the passenger side I like the extra detail on the seats with the stitching it's got nice carpet it's got the step down running boards like old trucks had you've got some insulation under the carpet the air conditioner blows really good in fact blows as good as a modern vehicle I love the steering wheel it's elegant small and it works it's got a little headliner up top seat belts and he actually got room behind the seat because the fuel tank has been moved and I like how they wrap the door panels around inside the door jam just a nice little quality touch but I can't wait to get it up in the air and show you underneath show you the bones that it has but it really drives nice the air blows cold and it's a cool truck 1955 Chevrolet 3100 if you have any questions check us out we can ship it anywhere in the USA or anywhere in the world and I do want to mention since this truck was built they drove it a little over 2,000 miles actually 2442 so it's been driven enough to be sorted <coughs> it runs down the road straight the brakes are amazing it's just a good driving truck but have a great day I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails and hope to see you in our showroom soon